Yo guys, Code Life here. So in this video today, guys, I want to quickly answer all of the questions that a lot of you have been asking me regarding the all new performance mode setting in Fortnite Battle Royale. Now you guys have asked me a ton of questions like what are the advantages, what are the disadvantages, and then you've also asked me what are my overall thoughts on the setting itself. And with all those questions flooding in, I figured I'd make this video to lay out all of the advantages all of the disadvantages and then my overall thoughts so all of you guys can decide for yourselves if this setting is worth switching to over from DirectX 11 or DirectX 12, whichever one you were previously on. But yeah guys, if you do find this video helpful, then be sure to drop a like on the vid, subscribe to the channel and then use code life in the item shop. By doing either one of those three right there, you'll be helping me out a turn and it really would be appreciated. Now though, let's jump straight in and check out all of the advantages slash pros of using this setting. Starting off with pro number one, the frame rate increase. For this advantage, as most of you will know already, performance mode will serve you very, very well if you have got a low end machine, as that's what it's designed for. If you are on a low end machine, guys, you'll probably get double your FPS, like no joke. Proof of that is on screen right now from Epic Games testing. You can see here, you can literally double your FPS from just switching on one setting, which is insane. It doesn't just benefit low end PCs though, it does benefit medium end and high end as well. Not as much, but it still does. If you're on a medium end PC, you'll probably see around 50 to 125 FPS increase. And then if you're on a high-end machine, you'll probably only see a small increase in frames. As you can see from the testing done by a guy called Snuffy, link to his Twitter below by the way, when he tested out these settings for himself on his god tier PC. Alongside the advantages though with the FPS guys, remember that isn't the only one, there's a ton more that I'm about to go through right now. And that brings me to the next pro, which is number two the removal of certain textures. For this, textures like grass, stones, and even water, all of these right here, guys, look 2D on the performance mode setting than they do on the DirectX 11 and DirectX 12 one. As you can see here on screen, this is what the DirectX setting looks like. Obviously, they look normal, they look 3D as they do. And then if we go ahead and switch on performance mode, you can see here that they look 2D. Epic Games here have clearly removed some of the depth from these textures and it makes it look super, super 2D and pretty much non-existent. Like for the grass, it looks like it's not even there. Next up is pro number three, the removal of unnecessary building animations. For this advantage, the setting itself removes those unnecessary building animations which make them look much more clear than they did before. As you can see here guys, this is what the building animations look like on DX11-12. And then this is what they look like on the all new performance mode. Next up is pro number four, which is the ability to save builds through the world floor. For this, if you take a look at the underground builds while in edit mode, you'll notice guys that you cannot see them underground on the DirectX 11 slash 12 setting. Whereas on the performance mode, you actually can. You can see here, if I edit this ramp, you can see all of its outlines, which makes it much more easier to make edits in situations like this one, where your builds are underground. Next up is pro number five, which is better visibility in your own builds. For this advantage, guys, you get much better visibility in your own build structures. For example, if we take a wall and place it right here, you can see here on DX11 slash 12, the visibility isn't the greatest through the build itself. However, if we go ahead and turn on to the performance mode setting and do the exact same thing, you can see here that the builds are a lot more easier to see through on this setting. And this can definitely help you track enemies when you are in box fight situations. Next up is pro number six, better storm visibility. For this, you get much more clarity when using this new setting in the storm. On screen here guys, you can see that using the DirectX 11 slash 12 setting, the visibility isn't the greatest. There's a lot of purple slash like effects going on and it's really hard to see. However, if you go over to the performance mode setting, you can basically see everything. As this setting makes it all transparent by reducing all of those heavy, distinctive purple storm effects slash tint. Like if I quickly go back and forth guys, you can see the difference is really night and day. Next is pro number seven better mushroom visibility. For this advantage guys, it's a pretty basic one as the title implies. On DirectX 11 slash 12, this is what mushrooms look like, whereas on performance mode, they look like this. 
From that guys you can see that it's much more easier to see mushrooms on the performance mode setting. And then for the 8th Pro and the final advantage, this one is the reduction size of the game via disabling the old textures. For this one guys, if you want to minus 15 gigabytes from your Fortnite game and add 15 more gigabytes onto your hard drive, you can do that simply guys by going over to the Epic Games launcher, finding Fortnite, pressing those three vertical dots next to the game itself, and then you want to click options and uncheck the high resolution textures box. After doing that guys, it'll remove up to 15 gigabytes of unused textures when playing on performance mode. Please do note though guys, that when you do do this, you will not be able to play DX11 or DX12. To play those rendered modes right there, you must retick that box and that will add those extra 15 gigabytes worth of textures onto your game file. So keep that in mind if you do want to go back to those rendering modes. And yeah guys, that's the 8 advantages of this setting. Let's now quickly jump over and check out the 5 disadvantages slash cons of this setting too. For con 1, this one is the visual quality decrease. This one guys is pretty obvious, with performance mode being designed to reduce texture quality to provide more performance in FPS, this means that the game itself will look a lot worse than it did on DX11 slash 12. You'll notice the game will look much more pixelated and just overall worse than it did before. Next up is Con 2, item rendering. When using the performance mode guys, your item rendering is heavily reduced. For example, if you use a low render distance, you can only see what items are on the floor that are 10 meters away from you. Any more than that and you just can't see them. It doesn't even get better either if you bump the air view distance up to far slash epic, you still can only see items from around the 30 meter range. Any more than that guys, you just can't see what's on the ground. Whereas on the DirectX 11 slash 12 option, you can see items on the ground from very very far away. Which that is much much better as you can see loot easily when landing to a drop spot. On performance mode you really can't do that as well. Next is Con 3, Thermal Fish Blind You. If you consume a Thermal Fish with the DirectX 11 slash 12 option, it look like this. As you can see it looks pretty normal and how it should do. However, if you consume a Thermal Fish on performance mode, it will look like this. As you can see guys, you're pretty much flashbanging yourself when using or consuming a fish like this. Like literally you can't see a thing when you do it. And then for the fourth and final con, that's con four, this one is that the storm circle is much harder to see. This one is self-explanatory. This is what the storm circle looks like on DirectX 11 slash 12. Looks pretty normal, right? And then this is what it looks like on performance mode. You can pretty much barely see it. And yeah guys, that's all of the advantages and disadvantages of the performance mode. In my opinion guys, I think it's a very very good setting for those that play competitively and those that have low end to medium end machines. Obviously the increase you get on a lower end machine is insane, like you can literally double it. And then the advantages as well for competitive play, like I've just mentioned, you guys know them. All of those I think are definitely worth running, just as long as you can bear with those disadvantages. Do remember guys, the setting itself was not intended for high end PCs slash computers. Its main purpose was designed to help low end PCs and laptops get more FPS. So with that being in mind guys, it's obviously not going to be pleasant to look at at all. Again, that's the point of it. It's pretty much performance of the visuals with this new setting. Anyways, that's my opinion on it guys. I'd love to know what your opinion is in the comments below. And yeah, that's all from me guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.